Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. So this is an unboxing of yet another Diabolic DVD order. Uh, this one was kind of on a whim where I was just kind of like, there's a particular thing that I saw online that has a pre-order for it right now. And I feel like I really need that because it's one of the, um, I'll tell you, it's a box set. I'm not going to tell you specifically. I'll, I'll tell you when I open it up. But it's a box set of some films that are one of my blind spots in horror uh, if you guys, you know, pay pay attention to my channel, you'll know that there are a lot of films that I should have seen by now that I have not seen by now, so I've been slowly working on that, and there are certain groupings of films that I, I have not seen barely any of or any of at all, and I'm trying to work on that over time, so that's what prompted me, and then at the same time I was like, uh, there are a few other things I think I need to pick up, so... Um, I can, you can never just buy one thing, especially for me when I'm going through Diabolic DVD, because I always see stuff that I really want. So speaking of stuff that I really want, um, this is a film that I've been wanting to get on Blu-ray, but I've just been putting it off, putting it off, putting it off, or forgetting at times to pick it up when I've been purchasing other stuff, and that is the Blu-ray of Brain Damage by Frank Henenlotter. This is a wonderful film by Henenlotter, if you've not seen it. I have a review of this on my channel. Um, I also have a review of all three of the Basket Case films and Frankenhooker and, and Bad Biology. I do like Hen and Lauder. And this was the only one of the Hen and Lauder films I didn't have on Blu-ray yet uh, that I really enjoy. So I have, I own all three of the Basket Cases. I own uh, Frankenhooker and, and now Brain Damage. I don't think Bad Biology is worth owning personally. I'm sure there's some people out there who do think it's worth owning, but not me. That was one of those, you watch it once, okay, I've seen it, it's crazy, it's weird. I don't need to own that. But Brain Damage, certainly need to own it. Arguably his best? I know a lot of people would say that, but you can give me your uh, thoughts in the comments if you want. Uh, the next one was uh, a film that I really, really uh, love, and I just put up a review for it on my channel kind of recently, and that's the first time I'd watched it in a while, because I was introducing my wife to it, and I think it's one of the best horror comedies ever made, potentially the best, and that is The Burbs. Uh, such a classic. I could watch this over and over again, and I'm probably going to rewatch it again very soon. Um Got lucky because when I was checking Diabolic when I was on there, this was their last copy in stock. And sometimes, you know, they get more back in. You can do the wait list if they don't have any in there, and they'll, you know, email you and let you know when they're available so you can make a purchase. But the fact that this was the last one and you don't necessarily know if they're going to get it more made me pretty happy. I'm like, Phew. you know, now I own the Burbs. Thank you so much. I love this film. So very, very excited. And as you can tell, it's the collector's edition. I don't really care that much about something like that. I just want the movie in high definition. That's what I care about. There's a little thing in Oh, this is interesting. They put a little Shocktober thing in here. I don't know what this is about. Activities, events, podcasts. Interesting. Oh, this is a little poster. I had no idea about this. If you can want to take a look. It looks just like a bunch of like horror themed rooms in there yeah okay i mean that's interesting it's from arrow video and it has like some sort of events that they were doing interesting oh i have a i'm not going to show you this because there's a code on here for 10 percent off your next order through diabolic dv and you know, if you've been watching my channel enough in my unboxings, you know I'll end up using that eventually. So, yeah. Okay, and then the last thing is that box set that I was telling you was the impetus for me actually making this purchase in the first place. And that is the ultimate collection of the Hammer films, which I'm very excited to get into. It's 20 film set of Hammer, and I have not seen barely any Hammer. I think, I think I've seen... Maybe two Hammer films. The only one I remember is Vampire Circus, which is on Shutter at the moment, which I did a review for on my channel. Other than that, I th I'm pretty sure I've seen another, like one more, maybe a few more, but I can't remember what ones. So let me go over really quick what films are on this. The Revenge of Frankenstein, The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb, These Are the Damned, 
The Two Faces of Dr. Jekyll, The Old Dark House, The Gorgon, Cash on Demand, The Snorkel, Maniac, Die, Die, My Darling, Stop Me Before I Kill, Never Take Candy from a Stranger, Scream of Fear, The Stranglers of Bombay, The Terror of the Tongs, The Pirates of Blood River, Sword of Sherwood Forest, The Camp on Blood Island, Yesterday's Enemy, and Creatures the World Forgot. So, this is what I want from you guys. Please put some comments down here about what ones you heard, just heard me call off from this set that you think are the best. What ones should I prioritize? Or if you have a specific watch order you think I should go in, I mean, I could just go through it and be like, disc one, blah, 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 you know, just go down the list. But if you guys have recommendations on, oh man, I would definitely watch this one first or make sure you watch this one last or whatever. And like I said, some of your favorites based off of this, which there you go if you want to pause it so you can read them all again. Um, yeah, put it down in, in the comments. I'm very excited to get to this. I don't know when that's going to be, but rest assured as I'm watching these, I will be taking notes and doing um, review videos for them to put on my channel. So that's another reason for you to put comments down here and say, I think you should prioritize these because that will potentially make sure that I uh, do reviews on those earlier than the other ones because with 20 films that I need to get through, it might take me some time. So yeah, so this is a great haul. Very, very excited about this. Two films I've been meaning to get and one box set that's going to set me back some time. <laughs> Set me back some money, but it's going to really set me back some time. Um, but I'm excited about that. should be a great experience. Because, like I said, I haven't seen much Hammer. Uh, another thing is, I asked my wife for it, and I don't, I think I'm going to end up getting it. Because she kind of had a question come up about it later after I'd suggested it to her. But I said, for Christmas, can you help me out with another one of my film blind spots? And that is the Universal Monster films. Because I know there's like a 30 films... Uh, box set out there of you know like the classic universal monster films and i've not seen a single one of those and like i said that's another blind spot so i want to get that taken care of so hammer and universal i want to get into it i want to get down to the nitty gritty and really dive in so that i have more of a base of knowledge for where a lot of the horror of today in the last bunch of decades have come from and that's one of the things i love about seeing things like hammer films and the idea of seeing things like Hammer films and Universal films is kind of understanding a lot more how everything started and then being able to see over the decades how that changed, how it influenced what was made after it. So it's going to be a fun journey. I'm very excited. And I do think that my wife is going to get me that Universal Monsters uh, box set. I hope so. Along with also a uh, Tremors box set, because a new Tremors box set just came out with the newest film involved, which, if you haven't seen it, is quite good. I have a no spoilers review for it on my channel. You can watch. Anyway, thanks for checking this out. I really do appreciate it. If you want to make sure that you see my unboxing videos, if you want to make sure you see my movie review videos, or if you want to know when I'm doing live streams or anything like that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That is your best way. And that's your best way to repay me as well. If you like any single video I've ever done, hopefully you've liked more than that, uh, please pay me back by hitting that subscribe button. And also hit the notification bell. That way you know when I'm putting up those new videos or doing a live stream. But regardless, I appreciate you taking the time to check this out. Until next time, keep it brutal.